I want to figure out if factions are equivalent. Equivalent and equal. First, find your fraction, your two fractions. Today we're using one third and two fifths. Then you multiply one third and two fifths, but you do not multiply the bottom. Find your answer. And let's see now that one third has a five and two fifths have a six. You can see that one third had the five, two fifths had the six. So one third is bigger than two fifths. Let's try some that are equivalent. Let's say I have one half of a pot. He, my friend, had two half of a pot. So it will be one half and two. To check this, I multiply, and both of them have four, so that means they're equivalent. So now I'm going to trace them out. While doing two fourths or five eighths, we would have got the answer. So we're going to check it together. Two fourths, five eighths. You do this, you do this, like this. So, five eighths got to twenty and eight and eight and two fours got to sixteen. So that means five eighths is bigger. Also. You do this, two fourths is equal to one half. One half equals four eighths. And five eighths is bigger than four eighths. And five eighths. If you do five eighths, so if you do four eighths and two fourths, it will be equivalent also because four eighths is, uh, is a half and two fourths is a half. You know more about equivalent fractions. So go make those fractions equal on your own. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.